But as a matter of fact, we're going to have a bit of a shop chat. This is quite a good one, actually. A guy called Ian Turner. I can't remember if he said I should use his name or not. Oh, well. <laughs> he said in America, I think it's America. It might have been Australia. One of the colonies. Um, he said uh, that they have these things called crash cards. And he says, have you heard of them? And I was like, no, I haven't. Now, this might be just because I'm dumb. I've never heard of them. Uh, I didn't research this because it gives you guys something to say. But he said that um, basically what it is, is it's a card that goes in your helmet. It goes, you know, between your head and your strap lining kind of stuff. And then there's a sticker that goes on your helmet, on the outside of the helmet, a little, hel little sticker. I'll see if I can get the picture. And uh, basically what it does is it has your contact details on like your next of kin and stuff, your blood group, any allergies you have, stuff like that. And I thought, what a fucking excellent idea. And he thought the same, you know, he said, if you don't have these, um, you know, maybe it might be a good thing to whatever. And I think it is an excellent thing. Um, the problem is making, you know, to have like a crash card is to make all the paramedics and stuff and doctors and stuff aware of these things isn't the hardest thing to do in the world I don't think it's just to have a nationwide thing that they all get behind there could be something like this in this country I'm not sure um, and obviously if there is you guys in the comments will let me know which will be good and we'll have a follow up but uh, it's something that you don't even have to really get all the doctors and paramedics behind. You can literally just get a card or a piece of paper and laminate it. You know, you can put your name on it, uh, date of birth, address, you know, your um, blood group. You know, and then you can put your allergies or whatever. And then you could just stick a sticker on the back of your helmet. Um, you know, get a sticker and get some sticky back plastic or whatever, or have a sticker made. There's these places that make stickers for fuck all nowadays. There's also like the Dyn Dyno, Dynamo, whatever they are, the sticker print brother things that print out stickers. But you could just basically put a thing saying um, personal info. in helmet you know what I mean, you could just have a sticker on the back just like a little sticker on the side, or a little sticker on the back or something it's not something you literally have to get a big um, thing behind, because it's not a bad idea you know what I mean, you might have concussion or whatever you might, oh, you never know, you might get amnesia or something for the next five days, you don't know where the fuck you are you know, you don't know your name or anything like that so name, date of birth, address and blood group you don't even really need your date of birth, just a name, address, and maybe a contact number. You know, so just a, a phone number or something like that. I think it's a very, very good idea because it is nothing, it's no effort. You know, it's absolutely no effort. They will take your helmet off eventually, and it is not a bad idea just to have this thing stuck in your helmet so they can just, you know, go, oh, fucking hell, it's who is it, who is it, who is it? Another reason why it's genius in a sense, because you might have your wallet with you, who fucking does? Or it might be in the hedgerow and they've lost it. You know what I mean? But if you did this, um, helmets are very, very personal. You know what I mean? Very rarely, I don't fucking lend out helmets, but very rarely do you lend out helmets or the helmet that you use currently um, to people. So I think it's a very good, a very good idea, because hopefully your helmet is still on your head. If, you know, you've had your head chopped off or something like that, then it's still with your head and they're going to look for your head. You know what I mean? And if your head's chopped off, eh, your blood group, you know, doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> You're dead. But obviously then it's got your contact names and detail, you know, your name and address and your contact information. I think it's a very, very good idea. Um, someone did ask me something really weird the other day, uh, just not to do with the channel. But they were saying, how do you find out your blood group? Because um, this person, this bloke's shit scared of needles and um, what have you. 
and um, my missus, my ex-missus, she was um, absolutely terrified of needles as well. But we got this little, I can't remember what it's called, it's on Amazon. It's a little blood testing kit where you've got this card and you rub the four circles with a bit of your blood. You know, she hates needles, but we managed to stab her finger with that and she found out that she was all negative and she never knew all her life, you know what I mean? Because she just doesn't get anything, whatever. Oh. Um, but yeah, you know what I mean? I think it's a very, very good idea. Like I say, if there is already a program in this country that's basically like this, I'd love to know because um, I will do a video, but you know, we'll do a follow-up video to this. Um, but even if, if there isn't, or if you're like, nah, whatever, but you don't, you'd like the idea, like I say, you could quite easily just mock something up. And if there isn't anything and people think it's a good enough idea, fuck it, we'll do it. You know what I mean? There's no reason why I can't um, get some stickers and a card sorted out and just start a website or something shit like that. I'm not doing a fucking website, I can't do that. I'm sure someone would. <laughs> but you get what I mean, it wouldn't be a bad thing to start. Um, just because, you know, your blood group, yeah, but these details and stuff, it would be very good to know, you know, what's what and who's where, and it's just, I think it's a very good idea. Um, you know, there's like that thing in, um, there's like a company that do t-shirts, which I thought was very cool. Um, if you go to like Spain but you can't speak Spanish, it's basically a load of icons saying toilet, police, hospital, food, transport, you know, this, that and the other. And you basically point to it, you know what it looks like and it says the Spanish underneath, which I thought was a very, very good idea. If you really are fucked and you're stuck, you can just point at the one that says toilet and it says the Spanish underneath. I'm sure they'd get the picture, but you get what I mean. I think it's a very cool idea. Any road, hope that makes sense. And like I say, if there is anything like this, please let me know and all the rest of it. And I'll see you in a bit.